Hi guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lever action knuckle protector for my um, Henry Model X rifle. <clears throat> I started out with a piece of leather. leather. That was about 90 uh, millimeters long by oh, 37 millimeters wide. I punched holes probably about every approximately every five millimeters and I used this tool which I just used the smallest smallest hole but I'm sure you could use anything like a nail or a punch or something to that effect so anyway what you're going to need is uh, that leather piece and I just thickened it up here by gluing um, the same type of leather um, underneath it and I made it like maybe five millimeters shorter on each end just to give it a little bit more cushion because this part is going to be what's underneath here and it's gonna protect your knuckles from from the lever operation because your knuckles tend to bang up on the on the inside of the leather lever so I don't really know how thick this leather is um, it was just something I had in my scrap pile and I think I picked this up in a grab bag from Michaels or Joann's or something like that I can't remember but you're gonna need that you're gonna need <clears throat> some string which I bought from Harbor Freight I think um, this is just the stuff that they use for leather work or sailcloth or something like that so this is about you're gonna need a piece about three feet long and then you're gonna need another piece about oh about 12 feet long or 12 inches long and you get the 12 inch long piece and you tie a knot on one end because you're going to need that to sneak some string um, the extra string halfway through the lever after you've, you're done sewing or stitching it's going to go right here but I'll show you that in a minute a little cheat just put that aside grab a couple of your, your uh, leather sewing needles these things are not really sharp they're they'll they're dull tipped I mean they'll still penetrate your skin if you're not careful but they're I think they're ball nosed or whatever it is so <clears throat> go ahead and grab your three foot piece of string and drag it through some candle or some beeswax or something like that <clears throat> and this just makes it a little bit stiffer and keeps it from fraying I don't know what else it really does but when you're dragging it through a lot smaller holes this wax seems to help a little bit <clears throat> once that's done you're gonna thread the needle needles and um, these things don't get threaded the same way a regular sewing needle gets threaded so you go ahead and poke the thread in the hole 
Um, let me get that fuzz off of there. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful. That's not working. Try that again. Okay. So that went through. You go ahead and pull about two or three inches through. Go ahead and get the tip of the needle and push it through the thread. and that locks the thread in place. Right. You're going to repeat that for the other side. Hopefully this side goes a little bit faster for you. For you guys' sake. Sometimes you need to be an octopus to do these things. Need more hands. Hey, look at that. All right, so again, push it through the thread, not your finger. Okay, so that was uh, <clears throat> needle number two. Let me reposition the camera here a little bit. Okay, now you get your piece of leather. Make sure that the holes are facing up. Good side of the leather facing down. Slide it through the lever and start curling it. <clears throat> so basically you're just going to be um, this is going to be just like lacing a tennis shoe or any shoe for that matter but what I would do is I would go through the inside so that you've got some nice Um, you've got some nice stitching on the top. I'll show you what I mean when it gets started. Okay. All right. This is where the octopus thing comes into play. So I wanted a flat stitch on the top, which is why I did what I did. So just leave that be for now. Go ahead and grab both needles and make sure you've got approximately the same length of thread. And at this point, this thing just becomes a shoe and we start lacing. So just, if you're going to start lacing from the right, just make sure that you always start with the same needle on the right side so that you're crossing over and under the same way every time. So first hole, and the second one goes over. So the one on the right goes under, and 
and the second needle goes over. And we do this 17 times because that's how many holes I have. And that, uh, that would complete the project. Once you get to two or three stitches, the short 12 inch, um, the short 12 inch string comes into play. You just go ahead and lay it in there and, and forget about it. And make sure it doesn't get stitched in. Let's do that on the next one. We'll just hide it, tuck it underneath here so it's out of the way. Hopefully it's a short video. Hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. <coughs> and, uh, but I guess that's how you learn, right? <clears throat> I already made one of these earlier. It just was a little too short. And I had to cut it off. Um, because it started sliding back and forth on the lever. So I wanted to make it a little bit longer so it curled around the lever a little bit more. I'll show that to you in a second. I'm just making sure that the short piece doesn't get stitched up accidentally because then it would be useless. <coughs> There's my original shorter piece of leather. I think this pattern is called a herringbone. Not really sure. But it's just a basic stitch. Make sure you tighten your stitch every couple three um, stitches. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got. The same amount of holes left, we're doing all right. <clears throat> Two more to go. I'm not a professional YouTuber, otherwise I'd put music to this. <clears throat> I'd sing, but I don't think I'd get too many views after that, so. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now, for the end, we, for the end of stitch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one side, sneak it in through this hole, and then grab the other needle, stick it through the other hole. And then we're gonna do A knot. So let's see. We're going to go one, two, and we're going to knot it. And we're going to do another one. One, two. And there's the knot. Okay, now that we've got um, these threads here. You get that little loop that we just put in there earlier. Slide the leftover thread through that loop, keeping it a little bit loose, and then cutting 
the needles off the extra thread. <clears throat> so now that that extra thread is in the loop, you go ahead and get this piece that we left out here earlier, yank it through, and all your spare thread gets pulled through. And then we cut that off. <clears throat> and I just happen to have a dental pick here. And we just shove that in the hole. And it's really that easy. There it is. Leather wrap, lever action. Protects the knuckles. Doesn't look bad. There's a little fuzzies here and there, so grab a lighter. And there you go. Let me know what you think.